So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad speed sensor, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad speed sensor and how you go about telling if it has failed. And so first of all, there could be multiple speed sensors going on inside of a vehicle. There could be one on the transmission and there could be one at each wheel going around the vehicle. It's gonna vary, it's gonna depend on the year of the vehicle, things like this. But it's very common for each wheel to have a sensor and then also have a sensor on the transmission. And these sensors do different things. The vehicle speed sensor is usually located on the transmission and it just reports how fast the vehicle's moving. While the speed sensors at each wheel is gonna be reporting back to the computer how fast the tire is going. So there is some differences. There can even be two vehicle speed sensors located on the transmission. So if you are gonna work on a vehicle, it's always a good idea to get a diagram to know exactly what's going on with your particular vehicle. But just keep in mind that there very likely is multiple sensors located at each wheel and on the transmission. And so what are some symptoms of a bad speed sensor? Well, the most common symptom is gonna be transmission problems. This includes things like delayed shifts, hard shifts, or the vehicle's limited on which gear it goes into. So it might go into first gear, but it's not going into second gear, something along these lines. So if you are having transmission issues, this is a very common problem with the bad speed sensor. Another symptom is that there's gonna be issues with the speedometer. And so this could be different things. It might not be registering anything at all, or speed might just be way off. It might be really low. You might be doing like 70 miles an hour down the road but it's only reading 20 or something like this. So issues with the speedometer is another symptom. Another thing that commonly happens is that you can't engage the cruise control. So you try to enable the cruise control, but it's just not working anymore. That's another common issue. And when a speed sensor goes bad, very likely the check engine light's gonna come on and you might get other things come on like ABS lights or things like this. So you're very likely gonna get lights on your dashboard. And so how would you check to see if the speed sensor has failed? Well, the first thing to do is to scan the vehicle's computer for any error codes and see what they are because this will help point you to what the issue is and what's having the problem. So for example, if you get a P0500 code, it's a vehicle speed sensor A circuit, and this points to that speed sensor having an issue. P0501, vehicle speed sensor A range performance, another very common code when a speed sensor has failed. If you don't have an OBD2 scan tool that can read transmission codes, the most auto parts stores that do these scans for free, they'll come out and scan the vehicle and tell you what the codes are. There's also some low cost scan tools on like Amazon and eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. But the first thing to do, if possible, is to scan the vehicle's computer for any error codes. If you are getting error codes for that speed sensor, then either that speed sensor has failed or there's some kind of problem in the wiring. So most mechanics will check the wiring, be sure it's good, be sure you're getting voltages or things like this going to the speed sensor. And as long as that's good, then they'll replace that speed sensor. You can test these sensors if you want. There's different types of sensors, so it can vary a little bit exactly how you go about testing them. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing these, but if you're getting speed sensor OBD2 codes and the wiring's good, then very likely that sensor has failed and just needs to be replaced. And like I said, there can be multiple speed sensors. So if you are gonna work on your vehicle, be sure to get a diagram where all the sensors are located so you know for sure what's going on with the vehicle. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of the symptoms of a bad speed sensor and how you go about telling if it has failed. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.